If your Gaja Classic Pro looks like this, and you want it to look like this, then you need to do some deep cleaning to your group head. This is one, if not the most important maintenance procedure you have to do to your Gaja, especially if you want to avoid damage and spending tons of money on repairs, or even worse, having to buy a whole new machine. Hi, I'm Liz, and I'm here to teach you how to deep clean the group head components of your Gaja Classic Pro and help you enjoy better coffee at home. Let's go. This is a delicate process that requires you to have the right space and setup for you to reach your machine comfortably. It will help you do a successful job. The first step is removing all the detachable parts on the gadget. The portafilter, drip tray, drain pipe, water reservoir, and the lid on top. Now, carefully lay the machine upside down. It's going to feel way lighter as you have removed so many elements. I also like to put a towel below to protect both the machine and my table. With a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the shower screen screw. Usually, the screen is well stuck to the plate, so use the flat head screwdriver to help you take it out. As you can see, it's already looking quite dirty. Grab an Allen key and remove these two parts to take out the shower screen plate. Again, if the plate doesn't fall out on its own, I use this small head screwdriver to remove it and it actually comes out quite nicely. The group gasket is now exposed and this is often the hardest to remove. Take it out and let's begin our cleaning. I'll use this bowl with Cafisa solution to clean the parts. I always like to use hot water for this. The Cafisa powder eliminates coffee residue and oils. Let's also prepare a little extra solution to remove any buildup under the gasket with a stiff brush. Now, dump it all in there, so while you scrub and clean the insides of the machine, the solution will do its job removing any buildup in the separate parts. Now, scrub, scrub, scrub. It may take you a couple of rounds to get it all out. By the time you're done, you're ready to simply remove them from the solution, scrub if needed, and rinse with cold, clean water. This is much easier in the sink with running water, so feel free to do that. Then, take a moment to carefully dry the parts. Cleaning the group head won't just help with the durability of your espresso machine. It will also ensure that there's no bitter or stealth flavors caused by oil buildup. Also, don't worry, you don't have to do this too often, as long as you're always descaling and back flushing your machine. Let's reattach the gasket, and this is a perfect opportunity to replace it with a new one, if you saw that it was broken, for example and then align the shower screen and keep it tight. Finally, set your shower screen plate and screw it all together. I am so happy with the result, my machine looks like new. Before turning it upside down once more, I'll make sure to clean the lower part of the machine to keep it all tidy in there. This is actually something you don't often reach. And then reattach all of the pieces, water reservoir, drip tray, drain pipe, lid, and don't forget to pour the filter. My machine is now fully back in service. This is not the last step though. Cleaning the machine alone won't guarantee good espresso shots. So if you want to step up your espresso game and enjoy better coffee at home, go watch these videos next. I'll see you there.